Welcome to MB Trading's online tutorial series. This presentation covers features related to stock trading with MB Trading. Before we get started, please take a few minutes to read through our legal disclosures on this slide. This presentation will cover features related to charting with the MB Trading Desktop Pro software for trading stocks. The following video will teach you how to set up your charts for trading equities with the MBT Desktop Pro platform. First, to populate a chart, you will select File, New, Chart, or you can simply click on the chart icon on your toolbar at the top of the platform. When we bring up a new chart, at first it will be unlocked from our workspace. This means that you can move it off to another monitor. To lock it onto the workspace, we're going to click the button next to our symbol with the arrow pointing into the window. The window will disappear briefly and repopulate. This means now that it is locked onto your workspace and cannot be moved off to another monitor. However, it also means when you click around on the workspace, the window will not minimize. Next, we'll maximize the window by clicking on the Maximize button. The first thing that you want to do is set up all of your colors and preferences for using the charts. We access these by right-clicking on the chart and choosing Chart Preferences at the top. This brings up the ability to set up various chart properties. For example, on our primary chart, we can choose the chart type, bar, candle, Heikinashi, or line. We can choose our chart background color, our grid color, text color, filtered prices, and colors. We also can choose the colors for our OLHC bars or our candlesticks. In this case, We'll make our up candlestick green and keep our down candlestick red. We also can choose our cursor thickness line. We can set up the right margin to be a certain number of bars from the edge. Our line, we can set up the color and we can set up our fonts for our text. Our secondary chart and our third chart allow us to overlay charts on top of our primary chart. So we can set up perhaps a different candlestick color for these charts so that they are more easily able to be seen. Once we have set up all of our chart properties, we will click on OK, and our chart will now be set up. And you can see right here, our down arrows are red, our up candles are green. We also have a volume indicator that's populated on the bottom of the chart. If you wanted to remove that, you simply right-click, select Remove, and then Remove All Studies or Remove Volume. There are also a couple of toolbars that you will want to populate onto your chart. If you click on File, sorry, View, Chart Bar, and Line Bar, these will populate your Chart Bar and your Line Bar, allowing you easy access to setting up lines and customizing your chart. To use the chart toolbar, you can use it from the top of the platform or populate it on the chart, which allows you to select a bar chart, candlestick chart, Heikinashi line chart, also allows you to set up your log scale, choose an auto scale, or choose an auto scale with price data only. This also allows you to set up your breakout bars, your cursor tracking, and your cursor window. For example, if I populate the cursor window, I can move this around, set up my cursor, and then move this on top of a particular candlestick or wick, and it will give me the corresponding information in the cursor window. We can turn these off simply by clicking on them. The next window allows us to increase our spacing or zoom in onto our candlesticks. 
The window next to that allows us to decrease our spacing. We can also make our candlesticks thicker and zoom in on them, or make them thinner and zoom out. The reset button resets our candlesticks to the default view. The plus two and the plus three allow us to toggle on top of this chart a secondary and third chart for comparison. For example, if we right click and we choose overlay symbols, we can set up our symbols. We'll make our secondary chart Yahoo and our third chart Microsoft. We click on add, okay. Now if we hit the plus two button, a Yahoo chart will populate over our current Cisco chart and plus three will populate a Microsoft chart on top of that one for comparison purposes. You can access different symbols by choosing the symbol dropdown. You can access your intervals by choosing your interval dropdown here. You can also choose the different account by selecting your account dropdown. In our next section, we will go through more customized features of the MBT Desktop Pro charts for trading equities.